Mike Moo here, and in this video, I hope that you got a chance to get a screen protector before something like this happens. All right, so Sony offers two different types of screen protectors on their uh, action cams, all right? So this is the, of course, the X3000, which is the latest one. It comes with, uh, it comes with a waterproof type housing, which does have, obviously, the built-in screen protection right up over here. The problem with using this is not only does it make your unit a lot bulkier, um, before it was not as bulky, but once you stick it on there, it makes it really bulky and less wieldy. But very importantly, it actually blocks the two microphones up here, so you're gonna you're not actually gonna capture much of anything. It's it's just gonna be super muffled, and the audio is actually gonna be no good whatsoever. So what does that leave you for anybody that's doing vlogging or want to use the unit like this? Well, it leaves you without screen protection. All right, so what happened with me is that this screen actually has a micro scratch now as a result of not having a screen protector on there. And I don't always travel with this because it's a bit of a hassle to um, stick this in and out and use it. Um, and, and then every time I want to use it, I got to this is basically the sequence that I got to do. So that's pretty annoying. I'll stick it in there. So what you can do is you can also get the multi-coated screen protector. I bought this one used. Um, and right now, I'll just go and say that this is not sponsored or endorsed by anyone. And so anybody who used my links down below, I get a little bit of percentage. And that helps me create more videos like this. Okay, so this is the MC protector. And it's fully compatible with the FDR X3000, which is this one right here. And then the AS300. And it's actually quite good. Um, I actually bought two of them, and it is multi-coated. You can actually see the uh, the the um, anti-flare coating uh, protections on here, and it works out pretty well. Um, so this locks right onto the top of your unit. There's actually a lip down below here, um, a lip at the top right here, a lip right up here at the top that you go ahead and slide this on, and it actually locks in place, and voila. You know, it, it stays on, it's not coming off. So that actually works out pretty well, but notice that it adds quite a bit to the profile, all right? Now, the way I scratched my lens was actually in transit. It wasn't actually in use. Um, so this was because I put it with a bunch of other items in my bag uh, somewhat carelessly, which I'm sure happens to some of us. And this is actually not very, not, not super scratch resistant. So the other option, is to get this guy right over here. They don't advertise it as having a screen protector and they don't sell it separately, but you notice in the photo, it actually comes with this right here, which is a silicone lens cap. So they give it to you for both types of the AS300R, um, AS550R, and then of course the X3000. So it comes with two silicone caps, use the larger one. Uh, the problem with mine is that it actually did not come with one of these so that you don't lose it. Um, so I advise you just basically get a nice uh, thin piece of string and tie it up kind of like how I have it with the MC protector, which actually does come with it. So this just clips on right here like this. Um, I'm just gonna use the second one that I have over here to use it like so. This way it keeps it nice and small, skinny and slim while you're in transit and when you're ready to use, you can go ahead, you can go ahead and take it out and um, start using it the way the way it was meant to be used. All right, hopefully this tip came in uh, in time for you and hopefully you haven't scratched up your lens yet. Um, I can't figure out a great way to get one of these replacement uh, lenses except uh, directly through Sony. So that's gonna be a little pain. However, you can get alternative ones um, through, uh, third party, uh, through, through third party links, but they usually give you different focal lengths. All right, hope this is helpful with you and I will catch you in the next video.